All right, this video is going to be um, me trying to model the female passenger just really quickly because I made a long video really just talking through it and doing it. So I'm just going to do this one. But here you go. You get a quick overview of um, what it's going to be. So it's going to be an extrusion. Um, it's going to be a loft for the legs. It's going to be a loft for the kind of the hem, they call it, to the waist. It's going to be a loft from the waist to the shoulders. It's going to be an extrusion that will round over the shoulders. I'm going to look from the side. And it'll be a revolve to create the head. Okay. Um, so you can go check out the longer video, but this will be just a, hopefully a quicker one. So start a new part. I'm going to start a new sketch. And we're going to use the polygon tool. It's going to be a three-sided polygon triangle. Distance here is going to be 0.55. I'm going to constrain this. I think that didn't do what I want. Just because of the orientation. I'm going to extrude it. I measure that to be 0 0.30. We're going to do a new sketch here. We're starting with an ellipse. Oh, actually, let me go back to the... Sketch. I want to keep my triangle centered. Kind of lips. Major and minor. Right, this one's going to be point one two five. This direction is 0 0.105. I'm going to use an offset from plane. This distance is going to be 0.19. We're going to have another ellipse, major minor. Dimension this one. Let's see, my major is 0.14. And the minor is point one one zero. Now we're going to loft. I can hide the work plane from here to here. I'm going to start a new sketch right here. New ellipse. This is the the hem, if you will. These dimensions are half of what they list on the paper because the dimension you can see is only doing halfway. Offset from plane. Arrow is already going the right direction, so I can just type. My measurements are very different here. I have 0.27. Okay, this is the waist. Now we're going to loft again. the work plane, offset again, up to the shoulders, again, very different distance, I have 0.48, ellipse, 
And what do I have up here? At the shoulders, um, half a 0.76. So that's going to be 0.38. And then I have 0.42, so half of that, 0.21. Can hide the work plane, and we can. I'm not sure how did I get two ellipses in that sketch. Somehow that one got projected on. I didn't intend for that to happen. Loft from here to here. Now to cut the shoulders, hit F7, slice graphics, and let's see, I'm going to project geometry. I'm going to constrain these to being equal. I'm going to constrain this to being horizontal. I'm going to make that a construction line. That was really just to help keep those lines, these two points, horizontal from each other. So as I move one, the other side is going to stay symmetrical with those equal and that horizontal. And then I'm going to project geometry for this top. And I think I got the middle point right there. I want the arc to make sure it stays connected there. And now this is just eyeballing it. Okay. Only uh, what is inside is going to remain when I do the extrude intersect. And lastly, for the head, looks like that's my plane. Yeah, by Z. He's going to find that point. Yep. I had this to be 0 0.50. I'm going to have an arc here. An arc here, line segment connecting here to here. I want that line segment to stay vertical. I want this to be tangent to this, this to be tangent to this. Uh, I want, oh, can I get that horizontal line? I don't want a dimple on the top of my head, so that's why these are going to be tangent. I want to make sure that smooths that out, and I am interested in the distance here to kind of define the overall. Based on my measurements, I'm at 0.215. And we're going to revolve that around that. And I'll have my head. View. Get rid of the edges. I'm going to color it. There you go. 